What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be reacting to Lovelies' Fallen, Secret Garden, and Sleepy Dreams. Yeah guys, we are back with some more Lovelies. We're getting into the last three B-sides from the Fall in Lovelies album, which I'm excited for. Obviously, we have the first one called Fallen, which, since the album is called Fall in Lovelies, it would make sense that Fallen is probably going to be about, you know, well, falling in Lovelies, or well, at least falling in love. We then have Secret Garden and Sleepy Dreams, but for which I'm not completely sure what's going to be about, at least not Secret Garden. Sleepy Dreams kind of sounds like it's going to be maybe something along the lines of a lullaby, but it's really hard to predict those things when it comes to K-pop titles. So I'm thinking let's just get right into the B-sides. The first one, Fallen. Got a nice vibe already here in the beginning. Okay. So we're getting some ballad like vocals. Very heartfelt. Raising the pitch a little. Sujung there. Nice. Ooh. I love how they're playing around with the instrumentals according to the lyrics. And then the stop. When K comes in here, it kind of changes the whole emotion in a sense. The vibe gets lifted a bit with some more pure, brighter vocals. Build for like a note. Oh, damn. Okay, Jin. Damn, that was pretty good. Mm. I want to just wave my hand. Listen to this at a concert or something. the way they ended that by removing just suddenly removing the whole instrumental for for kate and the song damn loveliest is fallen that is a beautiful song just 
love this very slow and relaxing and emotional vibe that they're getting off with. with well that's just the instrumental playing that gives us that vibe and when they then sing they lift this vibe up kind of they kind of underline it and i don't know they just make it so much better they they and pour in so much more emotion because their vocals are there. Beautiful, beautiful song. Love the vocals from all eight of the members. They are a really good vocal group. They are just throwing out some these really nice and soothing vocals. And then when we get to some of the uh, the main vocalists like K and Jin, we get a little bit more power. Like for K, we get a little bit more of the brighter pitch, a little bit more of an an. They, they're kind of or she's kind of uplifting the lifting the emotion up a little bit but Jin uh, on the other hand is taking a little bit more power to pour into the uh, into the lyrics I, I just like how how that works how they are all uh, they are all have like a little little part of this song that they kind of lift off uh, or lift up a little bit extra and that's really really dope what a good song the, the composition everything was really nice and as I said they had some parts in the song where they kind of make the instrumental follow the lyrics which I thought was really really nice but let's move on to the next one Secret Garden Okay, what is sudden turn? I actually thought the lyric video just had a low volume, but no. Mm, okay. Wow. That's a cool way to intro the song. Sang right there was nice. Oh, oh, what those lifts in the pitch. Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I really like how the chorus is built. It's really catchy. Mm, that part again, Sujun got. Wow. Yeah, that's cashy. I like that part a lot. Mmm. <laughs> oh, Jin. Come on with some powerful. Oh. Oh, I thought we would we would begin again with the chorus, but no. We are slowly introing it. Oh. Oh wow. And then, oh, that part was beautiful. Dover Bridge. Oh, we even have a little, little outro. 
Oh, that was short. Little outro with, uh, with Jesus. Damn, okay. Lovely is this secret garden. This is like, it's catchy in an odd way because it's not really, it's not really upbeat in, in the way that you'd normally think of catchy songs where it's something that's so catchy. It's something you, there's like, there has to be like a, a certain dance for it where you're kind of dancing to it. No, this is just catchy in how it just gets stuck in your head and you're going to be walking around the whole day thinking stop the time because apparently Lovelies wants to stop the time. And I don't know, that's really, really cool. Again, we have some vocal works that are absolutely incredible. Soojung's little part is super, super nice. And then like, like just these small fluctuations that they have throughout this song. Baby Soul Miju coming in with these little lifts in uh, the pitch and then just the, this bridge that they come in with is incredible absolutely love how well it's in the beginning it's like the usual bridge that you would expect from well just from any song in general i feel like but then how they evolve that the end of that bridge or uh, the post bridge if you will into another another round of the chorus it's just super super nice it, 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 the expectation is kind of there but it's like a good expectation where you're like okay it, it kind of builds the expectation and 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 it just builds how how excited you get for that last chorus and i really like that a lot they are so so damn good their vocals and these bright registers they're using is incredible are incredible let's get right into the last one sleepy dreams A little ballady? Oh, maybe not. Oh. Okay. I love how basic we're keeping it in the beginning. With a slow ad of instrumentals. Oh. Oh! Oh, Baby Souls Waves! Oh, they have such good ways of flowing their vocals! Yeah? What's the chorus? Oh! Oh! That's like... Like, really... S smooth? Or... Not sure how to describe it, but it's so good! Oh, it's got such a nice, like... And it's a slice of life vibe? Like the instrumental? Oh... Mm, this part here, now it's Miju, is so damn dope! Bum, bum, bum! Oh, this is so nice. Ooh, a little... Nice bells in the background, too. Makes that a little Christmassy, actually. Which is interesting. Ooh. Oh! Oh! So young! Oh! Oh! Dope and transfer for the last chorus. These breaks. Wow! A little guitar riff as well. Mm. 
Oh, syncopation for the end. This is a really instrumentally beautiful outro. Okay, Lovelies is a sleepy dream. It was not the melody I would expect from a song called Sleepy Dream. I thought it would be a lot quieter, a lot more lullaby like, but no, they actually they actually took a a route with it which was kind of unexpected to me. It's kind of well, I, I tried to describe it as like a slice of life kind of instrumental because I don't know, for me it just sounds like an instrumental or like a song I would listen to, you know, while I'm walking around, like I don't know, commuting or just walking somewhere in general. I feel like this song actually fits very well. The BPM is very nice and just the vibe is really, really dope. So that's I don't know, it it, it's, it feels kind of weird since it's called Sleepy Dream to to want to listen to it, you know, in the middle of the day, but I guess that's how it is with Love These There. Vocals, once again, I feel like I've I've just been repeating myself these three songs. They their vocals are incredible. Absolutely love the way that they can keep their registers in this very very bright note a, a note that typically could be kind of irritating for your ear if you hear it for a longer or extended uh, amount of time but no not for lovelies lovelies they are they just have these vocals they make them very soft very whispery sometimes they build a little power or put a little power into it and it just sounds so incredible every time with these with these really bright registers they are so damn good at it this time again we had some parts with baby soul and miju that just absolutely blew me away i just love these the ways that they are changing the flow of well of their vocals of their of their singing to really give a whole nother experience when you listen to this song that's that's just so good yeah guys that was fallen secret garden and sleepy dreams and i gotta say it's it's kind of occurring to me how how good of a name lovelies is for for this group because i actually think the one of the best words to describe their type of music their kind of music the sound of their music is lovely i i really think like it's the, their music is just lovely it's something when you listen to it you you can't really help but smile when you listen to it because it, it always has this a little bit uplifting feeling to it even if it's a sad song there's always this it's, it's almost as if they always provide you with a, a light at the end of the tunnel. And I absolutely love that. Their vocals are incredible. Their uh, instrumentals, their, the, the compositions of their songs are often very, very uh, creative. They, at least they always have something in their songs that is kind of special, that kind of puts them aside or puts them like... like like puts an emphasis on them as you know as idols and i really really love that they are so good at just you know using their talents for you know whatever they want to achieve and i think that's such a cool cool strength to have and they are incredible at it let me know what you guys thought about lovelies fallen secret garden and sleepy dreams down in the comments below and i guess i'll see you guys next time <laughs>